So what's new in the latest version of SWS? Primarily, this is getting up to date with the new features in Reaper 7. There were various things that had broken because of the version 7 update, just wasn't aware of these new features. Things like the track lanes for fixed item lanes, the visual spacers, various things where the mouse has to detect certain elements underneath of it. And uh, things like the visual track spacers would add an offset to that that SWS wasn't taking into account. And so that's fixed. Adding main toolbars 17 to 32 and 9 through 16, those were added in Reaper 7. And now con uh, the contextual toolbars function can use that. Yeah, lots of little things, not, no new features other than the repack install. All right, so now let's go through all the steps of getting this installed. So I'm actually gonna start off with a clean install of Reaper. I normally use a portable install, but for you guys, you're probably not using a portable install. And so this is just gonna be a, a basic install. I downloaded Reaper, the universal version. Simply drag and drop into the applications folder. And so here's my applications folder. I'm gonna right click and then choose open. This is the first time this has run. And so when I press open, it this window pops up and we can click on open. And the text will be a little bit different depending on what browser you're using. And now it's going to start scanning for plugins. And this can take a while depending on how many plugins you have. I'm just gonna hit cancel here when I get a second. I'll just hit cancel and it will just skip the VST scanning process and move on to the next thing. Asking me for an audio device, I'll just choose um, my aggregate audio device and then hit okay. And still evaluating. All right, so here is my Reaper window. I'm gonna expand that to full screen. And as you can see at the top, there is no extensions menu. So SWS repack not installed yet. But what I will do, go to options menu and then show Reaper resource path in explorer slash finder. Now this folder is where Reaper stores all its configuration files. If you wanna make a backup of Reaper outside of Reaper, this is the folder to backup. Now in this user plugins folder, we're going to put the repack application uh, or extension in there. Before we do that, we will quit Reaper. Okay, so we've got our location and we're gonna go to the repack website. And because I'm on an M1 Mac, we're going to the ARM64 repack and I will click on the, the small text here. Uh, direct me directly to the download and it will download and I'll put that into my folder. Back to finder. Here is my repack install folder and I've got this file reaper underscore repack dash arm 64 dot dylib. We're going to move this into the user plugins folder. Oops, what happened? Use this, move this into the user plugins Older, come on, there it is. And yeah, so we just need to drop that into the user plugins folder. Um, now going back to the applications folder, we're going to again, right click and open on the reaper.app. This should prompt a security thing right there. Repack can't be opened because Apple cannot check for malicious software. Now this is where we go into the system preferences or system settings. We go to privacy and security but we're gonna hit okay on here. Okay, so now that I hit okay on it, we see this Reaper repack. Click on allow anyway, enter your user password. Okay, and then we'll click on okay again. So again, no extensions menu yet because we've only just authorized that extension or plugin to run. We will quit Reaper. And if this is still saying allow anyway, we'll just hit okay again. Now, this time should be able to open it normally, but we'll just uh, right click open. You only need to do this during the install process for repack the first time. Once it's fully installed, it should be fine. Uh, but now this menu is a little bit different and it says open and we can open normally and we've got our uh, manage repositories window open, which means the extensions are installed. At least repack is installed. We go to the menu, we see repack, and then there's the, the five options there for repack. So nothing is really installed except for the extension. No scripts, no other extensions are installed. And the point of this video is to get SWS installed. So that's gonna be under the reteam extensions 
uh, bundle. If we click on browse packages, it's going to get the list of what it can install. And we can see here that there's 1900 packages here. We just go to extensions. The one that we're most interested in here today is SWS SNM extension. We just need to right click and we can choose which of the betas. If there's an I there, when we click apply, it will run that update. So it's getting the files, it's downloading, it's putting them into the right place. And it's done. One or more native Reaper extensions were installed. These newly installed files won't be loaded until Reaper is restarted. So we click on OK, we click OK, and we click OK, and we click OK, and then we go to File, and then or, uh, Reaper menu, and then quit Reaper. All right, this should be the last time. We, I'm just going to double click this time to install, and we shouldn't get any security prompts or anything like that. Again, I will cancel my plugin scanning because it takes too long. And if we go to the extensions menu, we've got SWS SNM, and then we've got Repack right there. Yeah, so that's how you install it on a Mac. It's more complicated on Mac than it is on Windows. It is fewer steps than it used to be. If you wanted to manually install it, you can download it from the Bleeding Edge Builds page. I would highly recommend the Repack install because it can detect new versions, it can install new versions, it can uninstall easier than manually. Um, it's all just much easier. If you don't want this little submenu thing, there that is something that we can change. We're just going to quit Reaper, and now uh, snm.ini should be updated. So I'm going to open up uh, Sublime Text, and there we go. There's all of the uh, preferences for SWS written out here, and all we need to do is uh, set this to General Extension Submenu. We just set this to zero, and then this will be as it was in previous versions of Reaper. So let me find Reaper again. If you've got that muscle memory of 15 years of using SWS, you can do that or else the little submenu. Up to you. Yeah, well, like without making this a full tutorial on SWS and all the functions in there, really just get the update, install it through Repack, enjoy Reaper. SWS has been around pretty much since the beginning of Reaper. It adds so many features that I consider to be essential and I use every day in every project and uh, I would not want to work without them. It is great that we have now a team of people working on SWS uh, directly and frequently and there's already two updates in February, which is amazing because it has been a year. Now we can install it so much easier and get updates as, uh, as needed. Uh, I, I think we're going to see some new things added to SWS in the future. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support on Patreon and visit reaper.blog for more tutorials. Thank you.